Thank you for joining us today. It's now my pleasure to introduce our speaker, Zheng Wei, PhD, Principal Scientist, Group Leader, Downstream Processing Group, Bioprocessing Technology Institute, Agency for Science, Technology, and Research. Thank you for the introduction. Today, I will be speaking about a publishing strategy for removing impurities in bi-specific antibody purification. As we know, bi-specific antibody, BICB in short, is an artificial man-made protein that can simultaneously bind to two different types of antigens or bind to two different epitopes. By doing so, BSAB can form two different drug target interfaces, either enriching drug at relevant sites of action or linking drug to a specific biological effector. Currently, there are 13 BSAB drugs available on the market, and the 10 of them were approved in the past two years alone. Due to its unique dual targeting capability, BSAB can potentially provide huge therapeutic advantages over traditional monoclonal antibodies, such as BSAB can give higher binding ability to target, can boost cytotoxic effect by directly recruiting effector cells, can effectively prevent drug resistance by simultaneously blocking two different immune pathways, can decrease side effect due to the higher binding specificity. At the same time, BSAB also can potentially generate new functionalities that are not present in any combination of parental monoclonal antibodies. Although BSAB can potentially provide huge therapeutic advantages, but at the same time, it also poses big and unique challenges in downstream processing. In a nutshell, the major challenges in BSAB purification are the byproduct and impurity profile is complicated. Besides the traditional process-related impurity, such as whole cell protein and whole cell DNA, BSAB also can generate a variety of product-related impurity, including mispaired species, a variety of antibody fragments, and also high level of aggregate. Especially, the mispaired species are normally close to our BICB target in terms of their physical chemical properties thus being challenging to be reduced. The level of backward death and impurity is normally high. Moreover, many BSAB molecules are highly aggression prone, especially if XCFA domain is utilized as one of the building blocks. Mixed smoke resin may play a major role in BSAB purification due to the high resolution it can offer. While the notable mixed spot resin is CHT, ceramic hydroxy epithet medium. CHT comprises two different binding sets, the positively charged calcium C site and the negative charged phosphate P site. C site primarily bind to carboxylic groups on proteins and phosphoryl residues on DNA through calcium metal affinity, and the product illusion can be achieved by increasing phosphate concentration in the solution. p sites primarily bind to ammonium groups on protein by electrostatic interaction, and product illusion can be achieved by raising conductivity using any type of salt. Although c set and p sets are two independent binding sites, but they can do work cooperatively under suitable conditions. Calcium C sets bind to carboxyl groups on proteins, phosphoryl residues on DNA by metal affinity. But at the same time, there is also strong repulsion between phosphate groups of P sites and the DNA and the protein. 
due to their same charge. But the addition of a high concentration of sodium chloride could weaken this repulsive force, thus leading to the relative strengthening of D side bending. A similar concept also applies to the interactions between protein ammonium groups and the P set. In our study, three BSEB molecules were chosen, and both molecule A and B belong to asymmetric format, while molecule C belong to symmetric BSEB format. The performance of CST resin for BSEB polishing was evaluated in comparison with a typical high ion exchange resin. Both Sodium chloride and phosphate gradient elution were performed for CST, where only sodium chloride gradient elution was explored for CEX. So, three BSAB molecules and three conditions, nine runs were done in total. Result here shows that CST chromatography could offer better aggregate removal than CEX for all three tested ESV molecules, especially for CHT sodium chloride elution runs, it can reduce high molecule, high molecule species to 0.5% inch and below, and this can be explained by CHT causing C set cooperation. ESV are basic proteins, therefore, they are bending to C. HT is P set dominant with some C set cooperation. During CHT sodium chloride gradient elution, higher conductivity triggered protein elution, but at the same time, high sodium chloride concentration also strengthened affinity between C set and carboxy groups on protein surface. Since aggregates were larger than monomers, this C set retention effect was stronger towards aggregates than monomers. And this difference in C set cooperation between aggregates and the monomers during elution enhanced, enhanced their separation resolution. Next, let's take a look at low molecule weight species removal. For molecule A and B, CX showed better LMW removal initially, but LMW removal could be improved by adding a optimized post load wash. For molecule C, CHT phosphate gradient elution provided a best LMW removal. After one step CHT polishing, all in weight purity reached 97% and above. Let's have a closer look at M LMW removal by CST. CST was able to remove a variety of product related impurity, including the not not and the whole whole homodimer. BSAB monomer lose one or lose two light chains. Let's move on to take a look at process-related impurities, including wholesale protein and wholesale DNA. Where wholesale DNA was almost completely removed in all runs tested, CST sodium chloride gradient elution runs provided the best wholesale protein removal to below 100 ppm. Again, this can be explained by c set cooperation. As we mentioned just now, BSAB are basic proteins. Their binding to CST is p set dominant, where the majority of wholesale protein are acidic proteins. So their binding to CST is c set dominant. During sodium chloride gradient elution, the increase of sodium chloride concentration was only able to abolish the p set binding, but not the c set binding. Therefore, only our target BSAB were eluted out 
their wholesale protein are still bound to the seaside. Another big advantage of utilizing CST resin for BSAP polishing is that CST can significantly mitigate chromatography induced aggregation. In our study, we calculated the ratio of high mercury species content in all illusion fractions over high mercury species contents in the load. The high ratio here means more aggregates formed during column runs. From this graph, we can tell that CST can significantly mitigate chromatography induced aggregation, especially for highly aggregation prone molecule C, which contains two SCFV domains. A possible mechanistic explanation for the minimum aggregate formation by CST is likely due to the presence of calcium ion at C set. Chiotropic salt such as calcium chloride have been commonly utilized as an additive in protein purification, especially in monoclonal antibody purification to suppress the formation of aggregate. And the calcium ion on CST resin here may provide a similar effect. In summary, three BSAB model molecules were published by one step CST resin to over 97% purity. CST provided efficient removal of both product and process related impurity. And also, CST minimized chromatography induced aggregation or aggregation prone BSAB molecules. And this may be due to the C site cooperation of CST. Here is the end of my today's talk. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all my team members in downstream processing group in DTI, especially Dr. Nata, Ms. Fang Xinhui, and Ms. Liu Jiamin, who did all the work for today's talk. And also my colleague, Dr. Yang Yuansheng from Cell Line Development Group in BTI, who provided all the cultures. And also Dr. Kobi Yassi San and Dr. Maria San from Hoya Technosurgical Corporation Singapore. Thank you for your time to attend this webcast today. I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you. Okay, great. And as a reminder to our audience, you can go ahead and type in your questions for our speaker now. So our first question is, why was only sodium chloride gradient elution explored for cation exchange while both sodium chloride and phosphate gradient elution were tested for CHT? Oh, that is a great question. So for cation exchange, sodium chloride elution is, a, is the most commonly used elution strategy. And for CHT, uh, it's a mixed mode resin which comprises two different binding sets, C set and T set. As I mentioned just now during the talk, C set elution can only be, only be achieved by increasing phosphate concentration in the solution, while for P set elution can be accomplished by raising conductivity. Uh, so just like high time change, therefore sodium chloride elution was investigated as well for safety. Hope this answers our question. And our next question is, will the current effectiveness of impurities removal by CHT be maintained at a larger scale? Uh, another very good question. Yeah, currently the results were only obtained from small scale experiment, and we are going to further optimize and scale up the process soon. But since the process we develop here is a scalable one, so we do believe that CHT is still able to effectively remove processed and product-related impurity at a larger scale. Thank you. All right. Well, it looks like we're running a bit short on time, so if we don't get to your question, we'll be passing them along to Wei, who can follow up with you directly. Please go ahead and continue to type in any questions you have, and we'll get those passed along. The last question for the webcast is, what other type of resins were used post-protein A capture? There are many. Many types of resins have been commonly used as a polishing a step for antibody purification post-14A capture, such as uh, cation change, 
and I exchange hydrophobic interactions and the mixed mods, etc. But when it comes to five specific antibody BSAB polishing, as many BSAB molecules are highly aggression prone, so some commonly used uh, polishing strategies such as bad, uh, especially bad in loop mode purification method could potentially cause severe aggregation of column induced aggregation, such as cat exchange, mixed mode, and even protein A capture itself. And this phenomenon has been reported in several papers already. So that's why I mentioned you might tell that it is beneficial to use this key as it can mitigate the potential aggregation formation on column. Thank you.